Okay, so loads going on in the world of Helldivers 2 as we start talking some crazy things. The CEO has been so damn interactive on Twitter slash X right now that we have got so much information that we never knew was possible, and especially via the main Twitter handles. Helldivers 2 as a company and Arrowhead hasn't been really too communicative on what they're doing behind the scenes, but the CEO is absolutely on fire right now with loads and loads of tweets coming out in the background. So today we're going to do a breakdown of what it is that we've got coming and i'm just gonna tell you the potential of swords <laughs> yeah you heard me correctly this stuff is absolutely crazy if you haven't already smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on it'd be greatly appreciated on top of that check out our sponsor for today's video control freak the number one in controller gaming aiming that's right we made it rhyme and not only that but today we're going to be giving you guys a 12 percent discount code to get yourself a cheeky dissy on your purchase via the link in the description use code cloud plays at checkout and you'll get a cheeky 12 percent off much better than 10, right? I know. Anywho, with that being said, though, let's dive on into what's happening inside of Helldivers today with the weekend now being over. So starting off, we just mentioned about swords. Yes, uh, that's right. We just said about swords. Well, there seems to actually be a tweet that went towards Johan over on Twitter that stated the following on a most recent talk about the DLSS tweets that we had up just yesterday. And this stuff is a little bit crazy. So obviously, people are trying to post up right now that DLSS is not coming to Helldivers 2 with a post through it, but obviously Johan, being more active on Twitter than ever, has hammered in with the main reports on this and has obviously written to people using X that it appears more useful to others by stating that he never claimed DLSS is not coming to the game. That's not what he said. He only said that gameplay is more cool than cool tech. So he's going to be obviously focusing on the gameplay and the cool tech will come later down the line. But off the back end of that tweet, somebody actually asked him, can we get swords, laser swords? Melee needs more zest. And I couldn't agree more, actually. I think it would be extremely, extremely awesome to be able to walk around with a glowing red sword that just slices through the enemies at like no end. That would be some really Really cool gameplay you wouldn't be able to use it all too often but it definitely has its situations and Johan actually responded to this one with haha I love swords drive me closer I want to hit them with my sword Felix the art director and Mickey the game director got into an argument about how sensible this is we'll have to see what the result is now for me a plasma saber of some sort or a Diamond Dagger, which has a red glow point to it, would be absolutely incredible and would bring some really, really cool changes to the game. The melee aspect on this game, it's definitely there, but it's just really, really mediocre in that degree, whereas every other aspect in the game when it comes to weapons seems to be more enjoyable. And if I had a glowing dagger or even a glowing sword to that level, then it would absolutely change the game as far as how I played it. Me, I'm a sucker for LEDs. So if you get a red glowing thing, it, it, my sensory goes crazy. I'm 100% going for that as much as I can. Let me know in the comment section down below whether you guys want to see swords slash daggers of some sort in this game and how it is that you would implement it. Next up though, we're going to be talking sales. Now, Helldiver's sales have been absolutely through the roof and they seem to have done really, really well so far. So based on some numbers we have, which are extremely vague, I may add, there doesn't seem to really be much talk around this. There has been some posts up for it. Now, as of 17 hours ago, there was an article that went up that saying Helldivers 2 may have already sold more than 5 million copies. Now, they say that all it takes is one live service game to succeed to justify multiple features and Sony already has hit in its first try. Now, there has been some tweets that have gone out with regards to these posts and how many sales have actually gone through and where it is that the platforms have been sold on. Now, for me, myself, I would always suspect that there will be more PC sales than console sales and especially with the way that this kind of splits out with it not being on Xbox right now PlayStation obviously is quite a lucrative area to buy this game but PC is going to be taking rain it must do by far but over 5 million sales so far with a post coming up from Christopher Dring who's actually the head of the game industry dot biz he does quite a lot of work in the gaming scene as far as news articles and info is concerned. Now, he actually posted up a tweet stating that across Europe, Helldivers 2 was comfortably the best-selling game of last week, selling around 2.5 
times the amount of second place, which was Skull and Bones, I may add, so take that as you wish. Mario vs Donkey Kong managed at number four, but no digital data from Nintendo, and Helldivers 2 did slightly better on PC, but only slightly, and this is the bit that confuses me the most. Obviously, we're specifically talking about the second week of sales, and this one is a really interesting one because we're only obviously diverting this through to Europe, but overall, we saw maybe about 60% on PC, which means that 40% of the community are actually playing on console which blows my mind because the console is now becoming a lot more popular just recently especially with the games like the Suicide Squad which was primarily console and the numbers were a little bit skewed because of it but go into the comment section let me know what console or play PC you're actually playing on are you running this up on a controller are you maining on the PC what it is that you're playing because I'm well intrigued as to what the split genuinely is Actually, we may put up a poll in the community page, so feel free to go ahead and stick a vote in for that because I'm so intrigued by these statistics. Now, talking more in-game play, there has been some talk about the Stratagem loadouts, which would be actually really helpful when it comes to the way that you guys play because you can unlock quite a lot of Stratagems and it may get a little bit overwhelming. During the early levels of the game, it may not be too bad and you may pick the ones that you primarily want to utilize the most, but as you start unlocking pieces that you may not use too often, you obviously are are going to have that struggle. Now, we actually had a post go up with a question towards the CEO of Arrowhead that actually said, any chance of making stratagem loadouts? Now, his response to this was quite interesting, stating, it's something the UI team has concepts for. Don't know when it may happen, though. So this is something that is definitely going to be coming to the game as to when that actually happens is yet to be seen, and it's going to be kind of like a time gate on how this one plays out. But they really want to focus on the gameplay of the game. So this is something that we could be seeing pretty damn soon to say the least. I'm kind of interested to see how it would work and if they've already got concepts it means that we may not be waiting too long to be able to have the stratagem loadouts actually come into play. What do you guys think? I think this one would be one for the books. I'd use it 24 seconds. And to finalize today, a rare bug that has been going around inside of the game that uh, the CEO of Arrowhead has actually now addressed online. Somebody stated, hi, so I got a hilarious bug last night. My backpack was a bug purple question mark and my two main guns were purple question marks. I then found out I had the ability to throw unlimited stratagems so I rained hell on the bugs with napalms. I didn't see where I could report this and he actually responded back with we've seen this issue here and there. It's rather rare but when there are so many millions of players it's bound to happen sometimes. The question mark is denoting a missing asset so for some reason the game didn't load one or more. Why this happens, someone smarter than me is going to have to look into it. And now I absolutely love the transparency of this guy. The more that he kind of makes himself well known and present online, on Twitter, on socials, the more I actually like him. His likability is 10 to none. And not only that, but he doesn't mind being completely transparent, which is extremely rare for a CEO to be like, especially considering how it's worked. And he makes that crossover between CEO and community manager absolutely incredibly so again just like in the last video a massive shout out to the ceo of arrowhead johan he is absolutely smashing the game as far as the online media goes right now massive massive well done well impressed now unfortunately that is all we've got time for today though if you haven't already get down to the comment section and let's salute for all of democracy with a salute emoji and make sure you like and subscribe with post notifications turned on so you don't miss any more hell dive there's two information coming from myself, Cloud Plays. Thanks again for watching, guys. Appreciate your faces. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the clouds.